Hello, my name is Yanni, I'm a developer for Insight, and I'm going to give you an overview on how to test your Elasticsearch index and queries performance. When setting up your indexes, you need to answer questions like what should my shard count and size be? How many replicas should I have? And although there are some suggestions out there, the most reliable way is to run your own tests to get your answers. When it comes to testing, your tests should have at least these three characteristics. They should be repeatable. You don't want to come to a conclusion solely based on the results of a single test. So aim to run the same test with the same parameters more than once. They should be automated, as you want to be able to run it quickly and often so that you can spend your time on analyzing your test results. And they should be described as code, as that will allow you to target your efforts where it really matters, from individual Elasticsearch queries all the way up to your entire application. Finally, and this is really important, only change one thing at a time between your test runs. To fulfill our testing prerequisites, we will combine a Jenkins server and Gatling as our testing framework. We are going to use Jenkins to automate, repeat and record our tests, and Gatling to express our tests intentions and requirements in Scala, which happens to be the language of choice for Gatling. In the demo, we will be using the CDC Behavioral Risk Factor Surveillance System dataset, and we will be running queries that are going to reveal to us the respondents who have had both a heart attack and a stroke. In our Jenkins server, we are going to be testing our job against the BRFSS index, first configured with four shards, then with three, then with two, and then finally with one primary shard. At all times, we are going to be throwing five users per second at it, and we're going to sustain the test for five minutes. With the four primary shard tests done, we now have a mean response time trend panel appearing on Jenkins. We can notice immediately that our mean response time was around three seconds, and we are going to wait for our three primary shard tests to complete to see if there's any positive or negative difference to that. Looks like there's no improvement. We are still stuck around the three second mark. So let's test with true primary shards this time and let's see if things are any better or worse. No improvement overall. We are still stuck around the three second mark. So for our last test, we are going to use one primary shard only. Finally, we have an improvement. We can say that our particular query actually performs its best when run against a one shard setup. In more complex scenarios, it's also a good idea to pay attention to our response time distribution. Every load test done in Jenkins is recorded by Gatling and can be downloaded and can be opened up in a browser and you can check out the response time distribution for each particular query you may have set up. Thank you very much for your time and attention. You can find the code and resources used in this demo on GitHub, and you can also reach out to me on Twitter.